Hello everyone. Welcome to the Saturday slot again. How are you all? Well, time is passing on, isn't it? Do you know, I felt definitely autumnal this week. An odd day when we've had like an Indian summer day, but seasons of mists and mellow fruitfulness, as they say. We're coming very, very close to autumn now, aren't we? The season when we say goodbye to the summer. The season when we see so many changes around us in nature. The shortening of days, that's what I've noticed quite a lot of. And yes, those longer nights that we have to endure through winter. When we were just going into lockdown, we were into spring, weren't we? Just into spring and looking forward to the opposite of what we're having now. As the seasons change, I am aware of time passing and also I'm reminded of that passage from Ecclesiastes chapter three. It's such a familiar passage. So I'm going to read it to you now and I've taken the New King James Version because I think it's quite poetic. To everything there is a season, a time for every purpose under heaven, a time to be born and a time to die, a time to plant and a time to pluck what is planted, a time to kill and a time to heal, a time to break down and a time to build up, a time to weep and a time to laugh. A time to mourn and a time to dance. A time to cast away stones and a time to gather stones. A time to embrace and a time to refrain from embracing. A time to gain and a time to lose. A time to keep and a time to throw away. A time to tear and a time to sow. A time to keep silence and a time to speak. A time to love and a time to hate. A time of war and a time of peace. The message in this passage of poetry centres on God's ultimate authority in heaven and on earth. Now we humans have mastered many things in this world, but some elements of our existence are beyond our control. We cannot conquer time, for we know God is the one who appoints each moment. Yes, our lives do contain a mixture of joy and sorrow, pleasure and pain, harmony and struggle and life and death. Each season has its appropriate time in the cycle of life. Nothing stays the same. And we as God's children, we must learn to accept and adjust to the ebb and flow of God's design. Some seasons are difficult and we may not understand what God is doing. In those times, we must humbly submit to the Lord's plans and to trust that he, he is working out his good purposes. Let's look at seasons in nature to get a general idea of how seasons work. In nature, things come forth, grow and fulfil their purpose and die. And it, it is in this season of autumn, it's what we are really seeing visibly now. Notice that winter and spring are really times of preparation. In the winter, the ground gets very cold or freezes, which kills the germs and bacteria that could be harmful to crops. And plants that have died during the previous season decay and help replenish nourishment in the soil. Then as the late winter and early spring comes, 
the soil is ploughed and made ready. Seeds are planted, nurtured and grow. Then in summer and autumn, crops mature and are harvested. The farmers then sell the crops for money and use the money to support their families and enjoy the good things of life. Now we know, of course, with modern technology and so on, it's not quite as simple as that. And also with climate change, we, we're finding things are slightly different within our seasons. But thinking back to God's seasons, what is a season? Well, for our purposes today, a season in our life, I suppose, is a little time frame that has been allotted for something to happen. And again, we notice that God has so arranged it that things here in the earth and on our life, in our lives operate in seasons. And we can depend on this because he tells us so in Genesis chapter 8. Where the scripture reads, while the earth remaineth, seed time and harvest, and cold and heat, and summer and winter, and day and night shall not cease. This scripture also gives us a basic description of seasons. And we can gather from it that seasons are basically divided into two types. Seasons of seed time, preparation, and seasons of harvest, reaping from what's been sown during the seasons of seed time. And from our example, we also know that during the season, things around us are orchestrated in such a manner that our efforts are supported. Now, throughout my life, I have always accepted that to appreciate the highs, we must go through the lows. And to really appreciate joy, we must know sadness too. And I think if we go through this passage from Ecclesiastes, we can all identify with times in our lives. But the constant throughout is God's love, support, and the peace he gives us when we need it. We all understand that our surroundings go through seasons, but let's just think about the Christian. We know that the earth has four seasons, of course, winter, spring, summer and autumn. We may all have our favourites, as I had mentioned earlier, I love autumn. I think we are much like the four seasons in our walk with God. There comes a season of blessing and we do not want to leave it. But then we may get a season of, God, where are you? That hits us many times. And we are praying that we just make it through. But we know that we believe our God will help us. In thinking about God's presence, not seasonal but eternal presence, I was reminded of an old song that was very famous years ago in my younger days. It was recorded by James Taylor, but I think it was actually written by somebody else. Winter, spring, summer or fall, all you have to do is call. But you know, God's there, whether we can summon the strength to call or not. And he's there for that matter, whether we even notice on a given day, transcending all the times and all the seasons, with us in every awful moment and in all the wonderful ones too with us on days as ordinary as they come. Oh, the days quite extraordinary, as we have gone through over the last six months. And it looks like those severe measures announced recently are going to give us perhaps 
some of those difficult ones again. But what we can be sure of is that God will always be there for us. Winter, spring, summer or fall, all you have to do is call. And we call on God in our prayers. So let us pray now. To everything there is a season and a time to every purpose under heaven. O oh Lord, you remind us that there is a time for everything. So let today be a time to love and a time for peace. Lord, let today be a time to heal hurts of the body and hurts of the heart, to mend what has been broken. Let today be a time to embrace our fellowship with you and with each other to build up your beloved community, your church. Let today be a time to speak out for justice, to scatter the stones of ill will and plant compassion in their place. Lord, let today be a time to keep watch with those who work or wait or mourn and with those whose times are in your hand. Lord, we pray all this in your name. Amen. Well, thank you everyone, and I look forward to seeing you next week. Goodbye.